Hey everyone, it's Maggie Ba here with my No Vlomo vlog for Monday. And I just spent the entire day over in Bellevue, Washington, which is about, you know, a half hour drive from where I live. And we are getting the second store ready. So my my store that I work at is opening its second location. And so it's really exciting. And so I ripped open a bunch of boxes and sorted and counted a bunch of games. Um, but it's the first time I've had such a major role in such a huge project. Um, I've been relied upon for a lot of things, and it's a little scary, but uh, it's going over okay. okay. Uh, there are hiccups, but I'm trying to just maintain. Just maintain. And it's been fun because you get to, like, it's basically a huge new crew, so there's, like, you know, 12, 15 people over there that I don't know. So it's been a lot of t good times, you know, getting to know everybody as you as you chat with them and as you work with them. And it's, it's a little rough for me because if people aren't used to the way that I like to do work, I come off as a little pushy or maybe I'm pushy and sometimes people deal with it because they like me. Um, but yeah, it takes, it takes a while to find rhythm with new crews. But we're going to get it done and we're hoping to have our kind of soft opening next week. Um, which means I will be out of town for that, which sucks so hard. But it's I I took vacation thinking that November was probably not the month we were gonna open. So oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but that's been uh, very cool and trying to create an environment and an ethos in the same way that we have in our original store, making sure that like the vibe and everything else and what we believe in is maintained throughout two physical locations. That's its own kind of weird game that we have to play because it's really important where we work, like how we work and how we treat people and our customers and all that kind of stuff. So that's, it's just weird, you know, like being able to say all those things and have people actually get to listen and yeah, very cool. But I did want to make the video because it's my top six out of my top ten. Because um, I'm not rambling, not rambling at all. This isn't my fourth take. Um, now, I will say that there was a card game that deserved this spot. And I liked it a lot. But if I asked ten people if they'd rather play 51st State the New Era or Imperial Settlers, nine times out of ten, guys going to be Imperial Settlers. And nine times out of ten means more board games for me, so it wins the spot. 51st State the New Era was the awesome standalone um, successor to 51st State, and I thought 51st State had some kind of weak points, uh, had just bad chits, the leader cards were crazy. Um, I just, I didn't feel like it was an all-around perfect game. 51st State, the new year, I thought hit the nail right on the head as far as difficult, meaningful choices, cool, innovative, multiple ways of playing cards. You know, everything was so cool and different. I still didn't think the factions were quite as equal, but it's it's hard to know because it's it was hard to know if we were playing the game right. With Imperial Settlers, it came along, uh, along and it's a much lighter, friendlier version. I'd say it's the Cousin Donnie of 51st State. You know, it just is so much easier to get people into and interested in that um, I feel like you're just going to get it on the table, you know, eight times as much. So that is my choice. Um, I am desperately awaiting more cards. I would like to rebuild some of the factions. I would like more factions to choose from. I cannot, cannot wait until I have my like preferred two-player faction and my preferred three-player faction and kind of like I do with things like Terra Mystica where I, I know the, the, you know, the handful of of factions I'd like to play in Terra Mystica with depending on who's playing and what colors they're playing and how many people are playing and those are the kinds of things I like in asymmetrical games so uh, I do think that this will probably be the only portal game that appears in my top 10 though I do really like uh, Legacy and I really like uh, Theseus. Uh, Nerosha, Nerosha Hex is not my thing but it's just it's a 
two-player tactics game, and so that's probably why. Um, I don't think Legacy or Theseus can hit the table enough for me to be in my top ten. I need games that I can play endlessly, and Legacy is really good two-player. I would say not so good with more, and I would say Theseus is so good and weird that it puts people off because they don't see weird as good. Um, but it's it's a doozy. It kind of hurts the brain. And I like the novelty of the Moncala movement, but it doesn't really make thematic sense. So I can see why people would say that. Um, so that's Imperial Settlers is great and it's important and awesome. And it is the first in my you know lightweight card games in my top ten, so that's cool. Um, you know you'll be seeing at least, if anyone knows me and they're watching this, they'll know at least one card game that's coming up on this list. Um, I am curious though, can anyone out there like take a couple guesses as, as to what goes on my top ten, like further further up? Because um, I I don't know what people think, but I I guess people didn't really assume I played heavier stuff. I've gotten some comments and some emails that insinuated that they, they assumed my gaming tastes were a little lighter than I was presenting for my top 10. And I, I said, well, maybe it's just because I play so many games and I play so many different types of games. But heavies are where I live, you know? That's like, that's my favorite. Um, but I, I am curious if people can, can effectively name like one or two of the remaining ones in my top 10. And I know a lot of people who know me personally would probably be able to do it, but I don't know if the internet would. So I'm interested to hear about that. Um, if you've listened this far, tomorrow I will be attending a very lightweight gaming night called uh, the GameWire? GeekWire? GeekWire is like a magazine or something online. Um, they're doing a game night, so I'll probably be back here talking about party games tomorrow. Uh, I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Bye. Mm, click.